Suppose you're working at a grocery store and you need to know whether you need to restock the shelves. According to company policy, you need to restock your shelves if a particular brand of cereal has less than seven boxes on display. How would you know that you needed to restock the shelves? Chances are, you would approach the shelf and you would count the amount of boxes that are currently on display. If there were, suppose, six boxes, then yes, you would need to go and restock the shelves. However, if there were, I don't know, 14 boxes, then you would not need to and you could go ahead and do something else. When coding, sometimes we want certain actions to be carried out after a certain condition is met. In our cereal example, our condition was that the current amount of cereal boxes on display was less than seven, and the action in that case is to restock the shelves. We can use if statements to let the computer know of both the condition as well as the actions that need to be carried out. So looking at some pseudocode for the cereal box example, suppose we counted three boxes. If we were in the computer and we were chugging along and we approached this if statement, we would check to see if the condition is true. Three is less than seven, therefore a certain action will be carried out. So in this case, we will restock the shelves. Once the action has been completed, we will continue on with the rest of our code. So in this case, we will go ahead and mop the floors. However, let's say that we counted nine boxes. Approaching the if statement, nine is not less than seven. Therefore, we are not going to restock the shelves, and instead, we are just going to mop the floors. What if we actually wanted to do something else before we went along and mop the floors? In coding, we can use else if and else statements. Else if works very much the same as an if statement. What it'll do is it'll go ahead and check to see if a certain condition is met. And if it is, it'll carry out a specific action. One thing to note, however, is that it will only examine the condition if the condition for the if statement is false. So looking at some more pseudocode, suppose we counted three boxes. Approaching the if statement, three is less than seven. So in this case, we're going to carry out the action specified in the if statement. So we're going to restock the shelves. After that, we're going to jump straight to mopping the floors. So as you can see, our else if statement wasn't even looked at. However, let's say that we counted that there were 29 boxes on display. Approaching the if statement, 25 is not less than seven. So we're not gonna carry out the actions in the if statement. So then we're gonna look at the else if statement. 29 is greater than 20. So therefore, we're gonna go ahead and remove some boxes from the shelf. And then after that, we will mop the floors. You can have as many else if statements as you want. However, if you have a lot of cases and you have all these cases doing basically the exact same thing, you can go ahead and use what we call an else statement. Unlike the if statement and the else if statement, an else statement does not have a specific condition. Its condition by default is all other cases. Returning to our pseudocode, let's add an else statement. We already looked at what happens when x is less than seven and what happens when x is greater than 20. But what about when x is between seven and 20? What's gonna happen then? In this case, in our else statement, we have that we are gonna to move to the dairy section. Suppose we counted nine boxes of cereal. Looking at the if statement, our condition is false because nine is not less than seven. Because this is false, we're gonna go ahead and look at the else if statement. However, this condition is also false because nine is not greater than 20. Because both of these conditions were proven to be false, by default, we're gonna go ahead and execute the commands that are in the else statement. So we're gonna go and move to the dairy section. After that, we'll go ahead and mop the floors. If statements in computing are very important and it allows a programmer to write a code that can suit many cases of use. With this, code can be very generalized and can be applicable in many different cases and scenarios, which will be very beneficial to the user.